On a beautiful, sunny, picturesque November day, a special contest held by Gander Mountain brought together a diverse group of outdoorsmen, avid hunters, and beginners, along with current and former wild stars for a special day that brought two great Minnesota passions together, hunting and hockey. At Wild Wings of Oneka Hunting Club, eight contest winners and each one of their lucky guests came together with the people from Gander Mountain and the Minnesota Wild for a once-in-a-lifetime experience, a day of pheasant hunting with past and present NHL stars. As any Minnesota outdoorsman knows, there's just something about hunting and hockey that seemed to go hand in hand. This is the fifth year we've done the hunt. We just wanted to find a way to not only connect with wild fans, but connect with outdoorsmen. I'm, I'm excited to meet the players. I'm excited to uh, get out and hunt with different guys that I've never hunted with before. I grew up playing, you know, your typical pond hockey, everything like that down at the local rink. I find that there is a strong tie between hockey fans and hockey fans who love the outdoors. Yeah, you know, I've played in uh, you know, a lot of different cities and you know, di different organizations. And, you, know, you definitely see the passion for hunting in the state of Minnesota. We like to say these are two of Minnesota's great passions, especially in the fall and winter, is hockey and hunting. I mean, they just seem to go hand in hand. It just seems to be a natural fit. Uh, you know, the, the only thing we're missing is the wild don't wear blaze orange. I think they might have to work that into their color scheme. You notice how a lot of people in Minnesota come outdoors and, and like to be outdoors. And uh, I think that's part of it. You know, I mean, I remember when I played down in Austin for, for two years. My coach there liked to go hunting. He, he took me out a couple of times. He was actually the one that was there. I'm not sure shot my first gun, so uh, you can definitely tell that people in Minnesota like to be outdoors and enjoy the, uh, the weather. I would say it's a Minnesota passion. Uh, we love the outdoors, and a lot of us started playing hockey outside on the pond and skating with your buddies, doing everything outside you can, and, and uh, that just seemed to go hand in hand with hunting and fishing and anything else we can do outside as a Minnesotan. Uh, and I just love this time of year, hunting, hockey, what else do you need? From there, food was served. Apparel, guns, and ammo were picked out. Jokes and stories of past hunts were told. My dads were out walking around, and we are 12 years old, and me and my buddy are sitting in the blind, and all of a sudden we got about 100 bluebills piling on top of us, and we're just, you know, don't know what to do. So we start shooting, and six shots later, we got no birds, and the dads are sitting down the beach just rolling, laughing at us. You know, of course, we're devastated. We think that's our that's our opportunity to show them we can do it on our own. Getting a chance to go out there and hunt with the family, and just the first time being in a sitting in a stand when they uh, when they drove all the deer towards me, and I just tried to pick one, and I think I might have hit one. But just being out there with the friends and the family, and spending time, the camaraderie. That's when you know, just the same as uh, being in the locker room. It's what you miss about hockey. It's the same thing about hunting. Something like this today, you just take it in and enjoy everything. You know, watching the dogs, birds, you know, if you miss, hey, it happens. I, we've all been there and done that, so I'm just gonna enjoy the day. Shooting practice was held with tips and pointers being given out. Groups were divided, and once gun safety was properly covered, the hunters, guides, players, and even dogs were ready for their hunting adventure to begin. Here. Although strangers from the start, throughout the hunt, the bond between hunting, hockey, and being out in nature made everyone quickly become friends as all were sharing a moment that would forever be remembered as a truly unique once-in-a-lifetime experience. It was a special day had by all, and just another example of how the passion for Minnesota sports and outdoorsmanship runs as deep as our 10,000 lakes. We find that it is one of the favorite things uh, that the players do. We've had Keith Ballard now, I think, for three out of the five years. He keeps coming back every year. He absolutely loves it. Um, he even tells me, he's like, I don't need any gear. I just I just want to come hunt. It's fine. During the hockey season, when I was yeah. playing, you don't get a lot of chi uh, a lot of times to do that. So when this came about, it was, you know, I jumped on it right away. And it's a, there's just real good people out here. It's, uh, it's fun to get to know these guys on a little bit more personal level. I'll tell you, for the contest winners, you know, when they get contacted by Gander Mountain, they've told me that's one of the, the truly great days of their life. You know, I mean, this is a really big deal to come out, have an event like this, get to meet the players, get to interact with the, 
you know, some people that are their hockey heroes. It was a fun time to be out there, and I luckily I got to shoot. You know, I think I killed uh, three or four birds, so it was a fun, fun event, and I'm really glad I chance, got a chance to come out here. I've also had some players that, for them, this is their first time, you know, hunting, being in this setting. They're not from Minnesota. Some of them not, aren't even from North America. I mean, I liked it. I never did, done it before, so um, yeah, I mean, it was fun. It's a good experience. It was a good, good day. I mean. Got, to, got got a lot of good stories out of him, and uh, it, was a, it was a fun afternoon. Great event. You know, usually you get uh, hockey players and golf, so it's nice to get some hunting involved. It's more outdoor sports involved. I, I was a little apprehensive, you know, because I didn't know any of these people, but they made everybody feel very welcome and at home and super down to earth. So, you know, these are really laid back, cool people. Fun. It's a fun day. I mean, it's, uh, it's really fun. Yeah, well, absolutely. For sure, I'll be. Was something I'll do in the future. Uh, I think I would do it one more time if I uh, get a chance. It was, a, I mean, it was a lot of fun. I've never done it before, so, but I, I would definitely do it again.